the results are in and the Democratic Party of Illinois will have new leadership at the top of its ticket. The loss tonight is mine and mine alone. I worked with a great team, with the best leadership and an incredible group of staffers, of volunteers, and supporters. I could have made more calls, delivered more speeches, traveled further, or shaped more. No. No. I could have developed better policies, or spoken more clearly, or made more no. I could never have asked for a better campaign team. They were smart and hardworking and dedicated and loyal. They should have nothing but pride in the admiration I have for each of them. I know what's right about this state and the people who live here is much stronger and much more powerful than all that is wrong with it. I hope the team that has been involved in our campaign remains in public life to bring the change that we need for our state. battled J.B. Pritzker for the heart and the soul of the Democratic Party in Illinois. Many of you have seen our commercials and our contests play out on the airwaves and in the direct mail campaigns. But as a fellow candidate, I have a unique position from which to have observed J.B. Pritzker. I have seen him up close and personal. J.B. and I have both been in Cairo in the southern tip of Illinois, and we were unified in our condemnation of the federal government's abandonment of that community. We were together in Saline County on the stage where we spoke to an assembled crowd and battled for their support. We debated each other at SIU and UIC and U of C and UIUC and, <laughs> and Northern and Northeastern. We appeared before editorial boards in Chicago and Arlington Heights and Rockford and the Quad Cities and Peoria in Springfield and in Decatur. We competed for support from community leaders north in Lake County, along the Wisconsin line, and south in Elizabethtown, along the Ohio River, just across the border from Kentucky, and everywhere else in between. We have both sought support, uh, support from potential voters while working the L stations and the metro stops, and at river fronts and in rural communities and farm communities across the state. We've seen beautiful rivers and wild places and shooting ranges and research labs. Eight opponents ran against Mr. Pritzker. We all came from different backgrounds and very different skills and very different parts of the state and he took us on one at a time and sometimes all at once. All of us, his opponents, battled him. We called him out, we ran millions of dollars of ads, we built campaigns to try to beat him and every time he battled back. Cardinal Supich once said, in a democracy, the voters get the government they deserve. The voters of Illinois have spoken, and now we must follow their lead and give Mr. Pritzker the support that he has earned. <laughs> to those of you who have gathered here tonight and who have been so helpful for the last 13 months, thank you for giving my family a great year. sixth time a member of the Kennedy family has appeared in the Illinois statewide ballot. Our family therefore owes a great debt of gratitude to the people of Illinois for being so supportive so often and for so long. I hope this won't be the last time our family is represented on the ballot. Sheila and our four kids, Kate, Chris, Sarah, and Claire, could not have sacrificed more or complained less. They were each incredibly helpful to the campaign, and I am in awe of each of them. <laughs> Rod, Joy, and Falana have been the best part of this campaign.
that this is not the last time his name will appear on the ballot. <laughs> I ever heard was the night that my uncle Teddy Kennedy ended his campaign for the presidency in 1980. Teddy taught us all a lot that night. Jack said that the glory goes to those in the arena. Jack may have said it best, but Teddy lived it the largest. One uncle's words and the other's example are my guidepost tonight. Throughout the campaign, many of you have heard me share the Kennedy family adage, that it is better to win than to lose. But it's, yeah. <laughs> My mother's already called. <laughs> but it's better to lose than to cheat. That's right. Let me share more of this with you tonight. We very much believe that it is better to play in the field than stay on the sidelines. It's better to witness a contest end in failure than see a failure to begin a contest. We prefer the grime of the field than the griping in the stands. For anyone who ever thinks about running for public office, do not let this loss tonight diminish your drive. I have no regrets about my decision to run. I'd rather be standing here in front of all of you giving this speech than sitting at home wishing that I had raised my voice. <laughs> Let me thank everyone here for your hard work and your dedication to our campaign. Whether you've been doing it for a day or a week or a year, the effort the camaraderie, the dedication to our community have all been impressive. This was not an easy campaign. I've worked on many. I've stood at visibilities. I've run field operations. I've run fundraising. And I've chaired campaigns. No campaign I've ever been affiliated with has been as challenging as this one. And yet, we all fought on. For those of us on the campaign, this has been a painful and difficult race. But for millions of people in our state, it is not the race, but in fact their entire lives that is painful and difficult. It is for those people that we stayed in the race. It was for those others and not for ourselves. Not to be too dramatic here, but there was more than one time in other parts of my life that I thought that I would die. And I lived simply because I thought not of myself. Instead, I thought of others. And then, with them in mind, I found the will to move a leg and take another step, to move an arm and take another stroke, to expand my lungs and take another breath, to do anything, to move a little, and to keep on going, to keep on trying for others and not for myself. Those experiences in the mountains, in the wilderness, on the water, remind me of this race. It has been a privilege to watch as each of you made a commitment to serve others, to help me, to strengthen our team, to work together, and to support each other as we try to become servant leaders of this state. As we end the night and as we end this campaign, I want to thank you all for being great Democrats. I want to thank you for being great citizens of Illinois. And I want to thank you all for being great patriots to America. I thank you. Oh my god, you're so...